What is Solid Principles? Solid Principles are five design guidelines that help you write clean, maintainable, and scalable code. Let's break them down quickly. First, S stands for Single Responsibility Principle. Every class should have one reason to change, meaning it should only do one thing. Definition A class should have one and only one reason to change. O is for Open Closed Principle. Software entities should be open for extension, but closed for modification, add new features without changing existing code. Definition Classes should be open for extension, but closed for modification. L is for Liskov Substitution Principle. Subtypes must be substitutable for their base types without breaking the application. Definition Subtypes must be substitutable for their base types. I stands for Interface Segregation Principle. Don't force a class to implement interfaces it doesn't use. Create smaller, specific interfaces. Definition No class should be forced to implement methods it doesn't use. Finally, D is for Dependency Inversion Principle. Depend on abstractions, not on concrete implementations. This makes your code more flexible. Definition Depend on abstractions, not on concrete classes. Okay, let's start each solid principle. With example, in the single responsibility principle, a class should only have one reason to change. Here, we have an invoice class that only generates invoices and an email service class that sends emails. Each class has a single responsibility, making the code easier to maintain and extend. Let's see the output. The open-closed principle means that classes should be open for extension but closed for modification. In this example, credit card payment and PayPal payment classes implement the iPayment interface. When a new payment method is needed, we just add a new class without modifying the existing ones. Let's see the output. The Liskov substitution principle says that subtypes must be replaceable by their base types without altering the program's behavior. Here, a penguin inherits from bird. And although penguins can't fly, it still substitutes bird without breaking the code. Let's see the output. The interface segregation principle states that no class should be forced to implement methods it doesn't use. In this example, we have separate interfaces for worker and manager. The worker only implements the work method, while the manager implements both work and manage, ensuring that each class only uses the methods it needs. Let's see the output. Dependency inversion principle means depending on abstractions rather than concrete implementations. Here. The user service class depends on the iLogger interface. This allows us to easily swap between different logging implementations such as console logger and file logger without changing the user service itself. Let's see the output. These examples adhere to each solid principle and are ready to execute in a C hash environment. Thank you for watching.